Hey Collider fans, well, no surprise to most of us here, Black Panther blew the doors off the box office. But remember, we asked a bunch of questions of a lot of people about what they expected to see in the movie, what they thought was going to happen, what they didn't think was going to happen, and then some wild cards, like what crazy thing could happen in the movie that would separate them and maybe break the tie. Well, I'm glad we did that, but we still ended up with a tie. Let's meet the two winners of the Coll Black Panther Collider scoreboard now. Our own lovely Perry Nemiroff. There you go. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked that I'm saying it. It's like I had plans to go out. Sure. Have some lunch right now, you know, do something else. But for some reason, I actually got enough to, to tie with this guy right here. That's right. And speaking of this guy right here, that is Koi Jandra. The wild card. The yes. thing I wanted most to happen happened. So the rest being wrong mostly is fine because that moment happened. Yeah, there were, some, there were six questions in a walk. So let's go through them real quick. Uh, the first question was, will Killmonger die? What did you answer? I think every single person thought he was going to live. Yeah. I every, said, every single person that participated in this said he was going to live. Okay, so you said no. Yep. You said I'm no. happily wrong with the rest of us. Okay. Yeah, it was really weird. When he did die, you're just like, oh, uh, yeah, it was a great death, but the half of you, I mean, three quarters you wanted him to stay alive, right? Even though 50, 25% of it was really awesome. And that death. led merit to it, to, I think. Yeah. I think the fact that we loved him so much made the death more powerful because Marvel has that killing their villain problem, but this yeah. was one of the first times if the first time I was like oh no 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 to the yeah. level I was because Killmonger was incredible and yeah. also the effect his journey had on T'Challa too mm -hmm. it's like even though Killmonger is gone what he just went through and especially that final conversation he has with yeah. him it means something for that character that we can then think of in the, the future movies end was because of that and yep. I agree the legacy of Killmonger gets to live on even mm -hmm. though he doesn't so I and I hope there's some necropolis in the future where Killmonger gets to appear I want more Michael B. Jordan maybe even as the dead version of, of the character well he did say on Twitter to Lupita Nyong go you want a second helping of chocolate cake so i don't know what that means it could be a sequel could be coming back to life thanos could be messing with the time space continuum yes. you never know all right the second question was uh will bucky appear in the movie you answered i answered yes and then coy you said i said i didn't think he'd appear in the movie but he might appear in the post credit scene so he wasn't in the movie to me but he was in the post credit so i see he yeah it, it's a tricky one yeah. i don't know where it yeah. lands you tried to hedge your bets so I he did. couldn't give you credit I for that because most people think the movie is from the start and all the way to the end yeah after the, the credits. lights came they up don't say it's the a theater. second movie, right, exactly. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, the third question was, is the Soul Stone in Wakanda? This was surprising that we didn't even get anything about the Soul Stone in the movie. Uh, Perry, you answered? I answered that it was in Wakanda, right. and I still think it is in Wakanda. It's just the matter of not having had it referenced at all in the yeah. movie. I still wouldn't be surprised, especially given the fact that we see some sort of war happening in Wakanda mm -hmm. in the Infinity War trailer. Mm -hmm. I think that that is for a reason, and I suspect it's because the stone is there. Chikoy, you said. I agree. I, yeah. I, said, I said we'd see it. I also think the reason the soul stone is incorporated is he talks to his ancestors. Yeah. There's definitely something in that sand, in that world. There's definitely Ooh, a the reason... Sand, yeah. Because the, the tying in the sand was a very vibrant orange. Mm -hmm. The visuals are very bright blues and yeah. purples. To me, there's something happening in there that we'll see a flashback to what we've already experienced in Black Panther. And then in Infinity War, we'll find out the stone was, in fact, there. Yeah. So I think we'll have to check the tape again because I think we're all right. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. And then the fourth question was, will its weekend gross break Deadpool's opening weekend gross? And damn if it didn't. Uh, Barry, did you say yes on this I'm one? I'm so glad I started to adjust my box office predictions. It's so weird to me that just, you know, in early January, we were all busy talking about, oh, like, it's going to pass Ant-Man and Doctor Strange and, you know, a bunch of the, the uh, solo origin movies. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's it's broken so many records. It really it's is. just It's crazy. So I'm very glad that I said that it was going to open bigger mm -hmm. than Deadpool. But really, I never could have expected it to open as big as it did. And I'm so glad that that now it has become one of only five movies to open north of $200 million. Yeah, Koi, what did you say? I, this was my painful one. I said it would, but it hurt me because Deadpool's my guy. Yeah, but after guy. having seen the movie, I'm just, I'm proud of it. Yeah. Like, it was, I knew the trailers were going to be incredible. I knew the movie would have an audience and I knew that it was going to be a powerhouse. I, no one could have predicted that this 240 plus, this yeah, almost half a billion worldwide in a, yeah. a little over a week, that's crazy. It's 241.96 million over the four day weekend. It defeated The Last Jedi. And uh, it also, what well, it's the f it's the second biggest four day opener of all time at the domestic box office after For Force Awakens. As I said, it beat Last Jedi, but also it marked Monday marked an all time record with forty point one six seven million, mm -hmm. beating Force Awakens. 
And then Black Panther also posts, posted the second best Sunday ever at the domestic bo box office with 60.096 million behind Force Awakens, 60.5. It's insane. The thing is, the thing's got legs like strong, oh. stronger legs like than Killmonger's pecs. Yeah, like a panther. <laughs> exactly. All right. The fifth question was, will Thanos appear in the movie? He did not. You answered? I answered no. Yeah. I, I really didn't think that they were going to do anything with Thanos, especially when you want the focus on these characters mm -hmm. and you want there to be a build. I mean, yeah. Thanos is going to be a major centerpiece of Infinity War. Why would they have ruined that right now in this movie? Mm -hmm. So I said no, and it was no. Uh, Chloe, Chloe? I also said no. Okay. I thought that there was already way too much to cover with the type of character he is is he's, he's political he's ancestral he's got this crazy power set he's a james yeah. bond character and they leaned into that hard it's hard to introduce that kind of movie and also be like by the way it's still marvel check out this character we've been leading to it would have been too much and i'm glad they didn't yeah i think one of the gifts of the movie is that they don't kind of lay too much connection into the overall Thanos story that's happening until Bucky shows up, right? Mm -hmm. There isn't that much referenced in it. You get a little bit of like the sword, the, I mean, the, the spear that's gonna mm -hmm. shoot, that's gonna come into play, obviously, when the Thanos stuff happens in Infinity War. But I love the fact that it was kind of its own movie, but still connected to the MCU. It was brilliant And that the way. way they did that, I yeah. thought was smart. Especially, the, what, 18 movies in, they were able to they do were, that. And it didn't feel like, do you remember, uh, like in Thor Dark World, there's a few movies yeah. where it's like, but why didn't the Avengers show up? There's a few <laughs> right. moments like, you're watching the MCU films and you're like, but they should have called somebody. This movie felt like it happened so fast there wouldn't have been the time to. Plus, mm -hmm. it's a hidden world, yeah. exactly. so the Avengers wouldn't know to show up. So the way they played Ross, the way they played T'Challa, they both felt like they wouldn't reach out, and that mm -hmm. really played for it being an isolated film, which I loved. Yeah, and our last question was, will the world learn of Wakanda's secrets? It kind of did in that <laughs> post credit scene, but oh, not 100%, but still, it, qual it counts. It mm -hmm. counts. Oh, that definitely counts yeah. to me. That was another one where I think every single one of us said no. Mm -hmm. And really, at the time we were recording that scoreboard, I didn't want the world to learn of their secrets. This is my first experience yeah. in Wakanda. I wanted yeah. it to them to preserve that and to keep that secret for a little while for me to further explore it before they opened it up to everything that the MCU has to offer. But really, they paved the way to that decision so well. I love the fact that it wasn't just a thing where they were exposed, that basically revealing Wakanda to the world, it, similar to Killmonger's journey, yeah. is key to T'Challa's and really every other character. because all the five nations that's what they're kind of yeah. battling mm -hmm. over and trying to figure out what they should do and how they should approach bringing that technology to the world if they do do that so mm -hmm. where they wound up in the end made a whole lot of sense had a whole lot of meeting and no doubt changed the, changes the mcu now absolutely and what did you answer i this? also said they would not in yeah. fact i was defiantly like it's his job to keep that <laughs> from happening you shouldn't let that and i agree the way they had it the way it was written the arc of having him be a new king from his father the arc of seeing like the folly of your father mm -hmm. is such an important thing in so many stories, especially superhero stories. Having the folly of his father be the thing he solves was a brilliant piece of yeah. storytelling. Mm -hmm. And I knew Sterling K. Brown was in this movie, but when I found out how Sterling K. Brown, Sterling K. Brown opened this movie. Yeah. Like, and the way they landed the growth of a king and the maturation of T'Challa and the storytelling that allowed us to know about Wakanda, I think is worth the fact that they know. But I agree. I was definitely like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Very smartly done. And who knew it was going to be the premise of the and movie? And what it meant mm -hmm. for Nakia too. Absolutely. That, that was yeah. another thing that I liked, that in the end, she gets to be with him, but she gets to do what she wanted to do mm -hmm. at the very beginning of the movie, and I'm glad. You don't really see very many supporting characters like that mm -hmm. have some sort of satisfying finish where they go on an arc yeah. and they come to some sort of realization, and they get to fulfill what they want at yeah. the beginning of the movie, but it was nice to have her story wrapped up that way. I think that's a great point you bring up. Yeah, yeah Shuri too. Yeah, and Shuri too, but Naki, had, not, uh, people are giving Killmonger all this credit, but Naki is the one who mentioned the idea of them pushing the mm -hmm. boundaries out of Wakanda, helping other people. Then Killmonger reaffirmed that, and then he had the confrontation with his father. So there was a lot of things, but Naki was, was the first one that mentioned it in the movie. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff to talk about there as well. But, you know, we we digress. Uh, the wild cards. <laughs> the wild cards. What was your wild card, Perry? So I got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of crap for my wild card no. when I first said it, because everyone's like, that's a softball. That's not fair. Why, right. why would Claude die? <laughs> and then look what happened. When I was, yeah. sitting, when I was sitting there in that first screen, that we went to and Claude died. I'm like, no way. I thought mm -hmm. that was going to be my one saving point in this whole scoreboard that would keep me from getting a zero. And then he was dead. I so, saw yeah. there, there was a small fist the pump. Call. There was a small fist pump sitting next to Perry oh, when that moment happened. I was so mad. I'm tied for first still. I, so still I, tied for I, first. Was so, right. I was so mad just for the sake of my scoreboard score. <laughs> but I will say that even though I thought Andy Serkis was fantastic in that role and I wouldn't mind seeing more material with him yeah. in that role, 
he needed to die yeah. and he needed to die the way he died he serves the character of killmonger in that moment mm -hmm. so so well and real in order for that story to move forward and move forward with as much momentum as it did it needed that moment yeah what, what, what did you answer? Pete? I also said there was no way. Uh, I didn't think he was going. But, but what I, was your wild card? Oh, sorry. My wild card was I said that someone else would take up the mantle of Black Panther. Ooh. So my wild card mm -hmm. was I love in the comics that this isn't a character that is like Superman, where there's a Superman, right. except we're going to ignore the Dan Jurgens 90s. But there, there's a Superman. But Black Panther is a mantle. Black Panther yeah. is not only something that's passed down, but it's earned. And mm -hmm. they showed that in spades with... I didn't know how much there'd be combat, like how much the Black Panther, they'd show that. So the fact that Killmonger became our Black Panther, the fact that he was the king, I was hoping they'd go that way, but I didn't think they'd go as far as they did with it. I didn't yeah. expect mm -hmm. that to be the entire third act. So my wild card ended up being a much bigger plot point than even I expected. Well, it's, it's interesting because what you talk about here, T'Challa, then T'Chaka, then uh, T'Challa's grandfather mm -hmm. is the one who had a back and forth with Namor, Prince Namor of Atlantis and Submariner. So there's rumors about that being a sequel. So this idea that this gets passed on mm -hmm. and passed on is may come into play in the sequel. We shall see. There's a lot of rumors out online saying it may be Namor, that they teased it in Iron Man 2 or Iron Man 3. Uh, so this is certainly a possibility that we will see that. So, all right. So you guys ended up tied. Uh, so unfortunately, there's not an, an actual winner, but there is a tied <laughs> winner. So uh, Perry, we have some incredible uh, uh, Shuri beads for you to use to wear. I uh, wish. Then we're going to give you that. And then, Cole, you're going to get Killmonger's Black Panther. Panther outfit to wear yes. for one day to walk around, maybe for Halloween next year you'll get to, or this year you'll get Look to do the that. Streets but. of Hollywood, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry, but there you go. All right, well, that's the excitement of Black Panther. Thank you, everyone, for watching this Collider Scoreboard. I want to thank everybody for participating, especially you two for showing up to talk about it. Thank you, Perry. Where, the, where can people find you? I'm um, on Twitter and Instagram at Bean <laughs> And Coy, where can we find you, my friend? Twitter and Instagram at C O Y J A N D R E A U. And don't miss Coy. He appears on Collider Heroes uh, as well on episodes of that going forward. We'll see him every once in a while. So, and he's been great on the show. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Keep watching more videos here at Collider. We're going to talk about Black Panther, all the stuff that's coming out. We, you know we got you taken care of here at Collider. Remember to like and share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you next time.